In this video, Winston and I once again celebrate our friendship through adventure and a little boat ride. The saying, teach a man to fish and you feed him for life? <laughs> I don't know. But what we're really good at is ordering food. Come join us in one of our favourite episodes of Bikers and Bites. Two-wheel freedom isn't just the journey we take, it's the friendships we forge along the way. Together, every turn of the throttle tightens the bonds between us. We ride not as individuals, but as a family. Two-wheel freedom isn't just about the destination. It's about the memories we make. Don't wait for tomorrow. Live for today. Experience two-wheel freedom with Direct Asia. Use promo code VERYOK30 at checkout for a $30 e-capital voucher or VERYOK60 for a $60 e-capital voucher. Head on down to directasia.com slash triple three for more information. Thank you to Direct Asia for making this video possible. The very first location we're going today is only 43 kilometers from the Woodlands checkpoint. Very accessible, even with smaller CC machines. Who knew that nice little scenic rides are so close to home? Oh, never knew uh, such a nice back road uh, can happen at Pasi Gudang area. <laughs> you like fishing or not? Uh, I like the lifestyle. So that means like go on the boat. You know, I have a few beers, talk, talk, chill with friends, that, that kind of, that kind of I like lah, but the actual fishing, not really my thing ah. So, I did prawning last time, never have I tried fishing before. It's very interesting to find out how fishing feels like, oh, is it the same like prawning? I share with you my experience, why I don't like fishing. I was saying in Ishun a long time ago, there was the Ishun jetty ah. Then, uh -huh. uh, I thought it would be a good idea to fish lah. I went to the bookshop, I bought myself a uh, fishing rod. I went to the jetty, I caught a fish! I went to war with that fish, okay? And then all of a sudden, I felt the entire rod, uh, my hand, uh, de-weight. Uh, so I'm like, okay. ah, I lost the fish. Uh. Whoa, then I fight, 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 uh. Then I thought, look at my hand. Bro, the handle there, the rod not there, bro. <laughs> <laughs> the fish pulled the rod inside the water. Then I, oh, I, I said, already, I said like, screw it. Uh. So where we are going today, right? We are going to a K-Long to actually hey, try some fishing. Never mind, K-Long show. K-Long life is best life. How is adventure life not the best life? The thrill, the excitement, the discovery of new possibilities. Yo yo Rakit is here. You know what song comes to mind? Aximat yo yo, Aximat yo yo. Eh, so that means we take boat? Ah? Yeah. Yeah. Like it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> I hear boat only, I'm excited. Ah. <laughs> to me, it's a normal jetty. To Winston, it's an opportunity to exercise his passion for photography. Getting acquainted with boats as a young child, being on or in water holds a special place in my heart. With the sun on your face, the wind in your hair, everything in life is okay. Favourite episode so far. <laughs> Yo-Yo Rakit, a recreational fishing chalet that was established 15 years ago, started as a small floating platform, gradually expanding to what it is today. Basic rods are available and baits start from 1 to 10 ringgit. But of course, you're welcome to bring your own rods and bait. They have a kitchen to get your catch cooked, but they don't keep fish in stock. We are left with only one option, and that option is to catch our own food. So we catch fish, we eat. We don't have fish, we <laughs> eat air. <laughs> we eat air. Drink water. <laughs> yeah, so today our challenge right, is to actually catch a fish each. So if we catch and I don't catch, means I got no fish to eat. La. I will share. La. Oh, okay, oh, so sweet. <laughs> I remember that I got a grip the line, then open this. 
But whether I can cast trial? Okay, at least you know. I totally don't know, yeah. I scared. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I say! Not bad! Got star, right? Yeah, because I... <laughs> if you all guys think that Mark is doing it wrongly, or rather is it doing correctly, or is there any other better way of casting the rod, let us know in the comments below. Any sure fishing wrong, experts? Uh, you want to learn how to cast them? Huh? Yeah. Oh, wait, why got phone call? Here, you cannot drop the phone, man. Go straight down to the water. Yeah. I can catch different type of fish. But 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 you forget to do something. I go the bait. Ah, uh, yeah, this one. Okay. Okay. So this one no need to cast, right? Apparently, yeah. Hold this first. Hold this. Ah, uh, so you hold this. Uh. Hold one and then you unhook this one. Unhook. Uh, okay. So now the reel is free, then you can slowly go this up. Oh, but but oh. use to use use your hand to break. <laughs> use my hand to break. Okay, so now I lock. Should be okay, ready? Ah? Yeah. Oh, wow, I can feel the current, man. So can I change the location if let's say after like five minutes I got nothing here? You kinda wanna check whether you have bait or not, lah. Because a lot of time you you go in, correct or not? You go in and you then 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 you like hey, nothing eh. Then by the time you bring up there. the bait gone already. So apparently CD, our point of contact for Yo-Yo Rakit was telling me he's like, you know, if you cast your line out, you catch a group of a certain type of fish. But then if you do what Winston did and just put the line in and wait, then you catch a siakap fish. I don't know what that is in English. I also don't know how it looks like. What is siakap? Do you have any idea? While it's really nice to get away from city life, fishing is a real test of patience. I really didn't know what to do. Whew, so if it's one thing that you guys are not feeling while watching this video, right? Is the heat. Oh my god, it is hot. Oh my god. Don't forget to bring sunscreen. You see that me? Ah, show cook one, show chalat. Ah, I got no patience ready, bro. Why? I got no patience. Eh? Just relax. Ah. Wait too long. Ah. Hey, cannot catch fish how? Ah? I don't know. Uh, no, no patience already. They got fish lah, but small lah. Like ikan bilis lah, that can. <laughs> <laughs> no luck. The bait also gone. Second time I'm putting bait, the bait gone. Then just now I nearly lost the weight also. It got stuck on God knows what there. Ha, we still no luck. Bait also don't have. <laughs> the fish very experienced are here. Very smart lah. All the small fellas take the bite, 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 the bait gone. Then, like, three, four minutes ago, we saw our contact leaf. I suspect he knows that we won't be able to catch fish. Uh. I very strongly say, because we, we are not fishermen. We, yeah, we pian jiao and bluff. Yeah, no. He see us, uh, the way we fish, uh, he also shake head. Uh. <laughs> yes, yeah. So he go and buy fish for us. Uh. If not, we really got nothing to eat. Uh. Poor things, yeah. <laughs> yes, I, just, just chew on ice. <laughs> Winston really has the eye making seemingly everyday objects look so good. Apparently he caught fish. I saw the, I saw the, the, the fish take the rods and nearly pull the whole rod into the water. That's why uh, expert really different, uh, not like us. Uh. Are we going to eat the fish that he caught? It's not going to get any fresher than this. Abang Sidi got this for us and the reason why I am not holding it is because it's actually very, very sharp. And then to make it, to make things even better, we're going to ask auntie to cook for us now. Still alive. The machi suggested we try her ikan asam pedas with the fish that they just descaled and clean on the spot. With their warm and friendly nature, the kampung spirit is very much alive in Yoyo Rakit. If you'd like to try other flavours, best to call in. The kitchen isn't very stocked. He's finally here! <laughs> oh, I what? tell you, first time uh, I shoot until I'm uh, very hungry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so soft, man. <laughs> Spicy, man. <laughs> this is another perfect example. Then spicy, but damn good. Then you keep going for it. Later at night, you die. The texture of the fish is really soft. Fresh, now. 
<laughs> How fresh can you beat this, man? It's like it's still alive when Mark passed it to the auntie. So I think the best way to eat a fresh fish, right, is to steam it. I would say flash fry with salt and pepper. Put the oil very hot in short while out. So which do you think is the best way to cook fresh fish? Steam, boil, fry. Let us know. Mm. It's always nice to take a quick getaway from city life. Yoyo Rakit has non-air-conditioned rooms that start from 50 ringgit and 150 ringgit for air-conditioned ones. Book early, they have very limited air-conditioned rooms. We'd like to thank Direct Asia for making all of this possible. If you'd like to support the channel directly, consider using Direct Asia as your next insurer of choice and use Very OK 30 or Very OK 60 at checkout. <laughs> we discovered that our tummies are bigger than one fish, so we backtracked 27 kilometers to Pasir Godang for round two. So, how, bro, how was your nap? That's not I see wow. you knock out, eh? Shook, man. Very shook. I didn't know that sleeping on the raft can be so shook. <laughs> uh, some more raining on one loud, just not heavy, wow. ah. It was really a very, was... very big downpour. Raft shook, ah, because I think we rock a bit, right? Rock, ah. rock, rock a bit, then you also down there like, wow, I shook, ah. like, oh, oh, like rock my baby, ah. But next time we go, must bring hammock. <laughs> wow. Oh, even better, man. Got dog in front, just cross. Oh, you. <laughs> dog can't jump. <laughs> <laughs> you got scrap yet here. What? This place got nice food? <laughs> Smokehouse barbecue. So we had asam pedas just now. Now we have Smokehouse barbecue. Yeah. The the, the name Smokehouse barbecue already make, make me hungry already. <laughs> uh, lucky only if he's just now. Rowan and Parsley, an establishment that began in 2019, is pretty hidden among scrapyards. So be sure to keep a lookout for them. The interior was impressive with a modern antique theme. These guys get lots of events, so make sure you book a reservation before coming. Bro, you hold. Thank you. I, I want to use my hand. Oh my god. <laughs> wow, very thick, yeah? Very, very nice. I like the flavor. It's, it's what you coffee lovers or we coffee lovers would search for instead. It's very aromatic. It's. I mean, it is a latte, so it is going to be creamy, but it is good, like good, good, proper good. Fish turned out to not be enough. Yep, definitely not enough. We got smoked pork belly, Big Brother Egg Benedict, and a creamy tomato prawn linguine. Mm. Oh, I can't wait. Which one you want to start first? Sorry, uh, this one, uh, Malay, uh, Muslim friends. This is a uh, mashed potato. Mashed potato, I'm going to try that first. Mashed potato is actually not that easy to make, right? Good ones. Smooth as butter, like inline four engine. The texture is so soft, so smooth. Oh wow, wow right? Wow, this okay. is this is not even like the dehydrated uh, potato. It's it's smoother and creamier than that. Yeah. Oh, this is really good. This is really good. Though. Yeah, man. The smoked pork belly. Take the whole piece, ah. My mouth small, ah. <laughs> wow, you can you can see like how when the meat is being cut, it's very soft. It's a little bit on the sweeter side. The, the sweeter one, not the, not the very smoky kind. Yeah. Don't really taste much of the smokiness, but actually I feel that the meat can be a bit more juicy. It's a little bit dry. Ah, uh, a little bit. But to mix the meat with the mashed potato, I think it will be a good combination. Of course, that's why it's served together. Yeah. You know the first bite that I have, right? I feel dry, but subsequently, it feels a lot better. And the burn part I think because, is just very tasty. I now. think because you're eating with the, the mashed potato. Mashed potato yeah. it, it, it really makes a difference. Next, egg Benedict. You see how the egg exploded. Done to accuracy. This is going to get very messy at uh, around our mouth. Oh, the taste is legit good. So this egg Benedict is with chopped beef. Also a bit on the sweeter side. No, mm. Actually, you're right. It's either we are hungry. I'm not that hungry. Oh, the food is that good. It's good. Last one, pasta. Let's go. You know the most difficult thing about having a good pasta is how well they cook the noodles. Hmm. Okay. I have a bit mixed feeling about this. I'm confused. To begin with, I'm not really a tomato pasta person. I'm more of a cream or aglio olio. Same. So to me, this dish doesn't really stand out compared to the other two. Right. There, there's there's something about this I am not getting. There is. It, it's not just your 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 regular tomato 
pasta kind of pasta sauce. There's something in the background that I, I that is confusing me. I yeah. don't know why it is. The pasta is not bad. It's not bad. For me, it's just confusing. Have you ever had a dish and then there is something in there that you're not familiar with and you just go, huh? That's exactly what I'm feeling now. Rowan and Parsley is open from 11am to 10pm every day except Saturdays. Quite the perfect place to bring your special other for dinner or a nice afternoon coffee. So Rowan and Parsley has got really good ambience. It's got good food but it's a little pricey. So for that, they get a very okay. With that, I'm Mark, he's Winston, and see you on the road.